Happy Monday! Happy Monday. From Barstow. Barstow, California. If you didn't see our last vlog, we delivered not far from here on Saturday. Yep. And we came to the TA here in Barstow and we just had a relaxing couple days for the weekend. Yeah, didn't do much of nothing except for chill out in the truck, watch TV, uh, yeah. rented a pay-per-view, all that fun stuff. Yeah, so. we did uh, venture over to the Walmart here in Barstow a little bit ago so I could go in and get us some things we needed. Yeah. Yeah, but it's... Uh, no love yet. Been quiet. Yeah, yeah, a bunch of stuff not where we're at, but mm -mm. we're hanging out. Maybe another six days. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's you never know. Right. You, you never, never know. know. You never know. What yeah. We usually do better out of Southern California. I mean, it's gosh, it's hit or miss sometimes. Hit or you miss. just never know. No. When I was in Walmart, it was funny because I was getting us like Clorox wipes and water, and they had signs up at the water saying one case limit, one case per customer because of restocking issues all the like Clorox wipes were wiped out. I had found one thing of Clorox wipes. <laughs> Everybody is so paranoid about that coronavirus. I had a sniffy nose yesterday. I thought I had the coronavirus. <laughs> I think it was just allergies though. Yeah. Well, yeah, I always, when we come this way to California, I get kind of a stuffed up nose and stuff. I don't know if it's from all the dust and usually just it, the pollution. I don't know. Usually it's, it's when we go to Texas for me. Yeah. Whenever we go home to Texas, I'll that always too. get hit with allergies. Yeah, that too. Yeah. That too. But it's been a nice day today. Yeah, it's kind of warm. I'm about to kick the generator on and get turn the... Turn on the AC. I know it is getting warm. Get a little bit of air conditioning going. Yeah. I'm going to need to... Uh, climb up uh, on the box maybe this evening to just completely recock all because uh that the solar panel where the solar panels were mounted it's still leaking and like i cocked it really good i think what i'm gonna do is they got some self-tapping screws up there too i'm gonna pull those out and use some of that um what's that putty stuff we got for the oh the um how, what uh, is that uh, called brain what fart called? brain fart what is that stuff called <laughs> it comes in a big roll and it's it? like a putty stuff that you use for yeah. putting around. We use it to mount the, the rooftop fans. Ugh. Of course, when you're trying to think of it, you can't think of the name. Yeah, what yeah, is that yeah, name? Yeah, we're on the spot, with, of course. Um, I don't know. We'll I'll put it up here. Because <laughs> yeah, we'll of course, as soon as we're done with this clip, we'll remember we'll what it's We'll remember called. afterwards. Yeah, yeah, I can't. Yeah, but it's basically, it's kind of a, like you said, a putty. And it's it's a putty, and when you screw stuff down to it, it, like, spreads out and fills in any gaps. And it, it's really good. So uh, if, if I put that underneath and then put the screws back in, it should, like, spread out and goop up and fill in the holes really good. So it... Yeah, they just didn't do that great of a job, they so we did just a need horrible to. Horrible job. And we re we put some um, sealant up there. You thought you got where it was, but the other day we opened it up back there in that front compartment, and it had been raining. Yeah. All night. All and night. It was and a big puddle of water. It was a big there. puddle of water. <laughs> well, how rude! Don't you know we're doing a cliff um, over here? It's funny, <laughs> Abby. Every time we pull the brakes on this truck, she barks now. I know. Or anytime she hears the, the loud brakes. The M2 wasn't that loud when we pulled the brakes. No, it wasn't. But it was, it was just a rear axle, so it only had one brakes. To, uh, this one has more, uh, two axles. and I mean, tractor trailers, they have one, two, three, four axles with air brakes on them. So. Yeah. And, and even the fronts. And but. I got the window open back there so she yeah. hears it even more. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. We'll pull into a parking spot and I'll reach for the thing and wait for her and she'll bark before I even pull it. Like so I'll reach for it and I won't pull it yet. And then she'll bark and then I'll pull it and yeah, she goes off. She knows. It's like she's I don't know, maybe it hurts her ears. Maybe. I mean, it's loud. Yeah, it is kind of loud and high-pitched sounding, so maybe it hurts our ears and she's barking at it, but... Yeah. I don't know. Maybe you guys may know. Let know. us know. Yeah, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to... I still got a few things to put up back there from Walmart and... Got a few groceries and stuff, yeah. Yeah, I already put that away, but I... Well, the, the toilet paper, paper towels... You mean they stuff. actually had toilet paper? They had toilet paper. They didn't limit how much you could no, buy on toilet paper? No, they didn't limit the toilet paper. You know, toilet paper prevents coronavirus. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so good I don't know. Times. Good we'll times. We'll see what happens this yeah. week. I don't no. know. Um, we'll see. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> Happy early, early, uh, early Wednesday hump morning. Day. Hump day. Payday. <laughs> man, what a day, you guys. Oh, my gosh. So, man, we've been up. Jason, I think, well, you got up this morning early. I did get up early. I was, like, up at, like, 3 o'clock in the morning local time. <laughs> and I think I was up by 6, 5.30, 6 o'clock. Yeah. An agent sent us a message over the QC, the Qualcomm, on a load, she's the been Omnitrax. trying to get the Omnitrax. Yeah, the Omnitrax. <laughs> let's be politically correct. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, she had been trying to get a load covered, and she had actually asked us about doing this load when we were heading out here to California. Yeah. But it wasn't going to make sense for us because it was picking up in Northern California, going to Nevada. So the deadhead was like 400 miles? 412 miles from Barstow. Yeah, for a little over five of almost 600 miles. Five something. 550 five something. Five. Yeah, yeah. It was, <laughs> it's the end of my shift. I'm yeah, tired. Yeah, so uh, almost the same amount as loaded miles. So. Yeah, she had been trying to get it covered. She sent us a message this morning asking if we hadn't gotten anything if we would be interested in it one more time asking for our help and this is an agent that's like you know she's done us good in the past so we're like okay we'll go ahead and do it yeah yeah what do you do you know yeah you gotta you gotta win lose some sometimes and right but doing that load got us two more loads and guess what we got our first double load yep, yep, out of that yeah we you picked, want to tell them about it? What you whining about, boy? So we deadheaded up to Sacramento. We picked up it up in Sacramento, and then our second load was picked up over, over near Fairfield. Uh huh. So we picked uh, we picked up the first one in Sacramento. <laughs> That's in the back of the box. <laughs> then we drove over to Sacramento and we picked up <laughs> our near Fairfield and picked up a second one. The first one was six pallets. <laughs> A thousand pounds. Yep. Not not real heavy, but it took up most of the the back section. I think we could have. We could have got two more pallets in there. If we, we probably moved... could have got two more pallets in there. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I put I turned them sideways so they fit uh, next to each other side by side perfectly. Mm -hmm. Like from side to side, there's no room at all. So yeah, uh, we could have got another two pallets back there. So that's good to know. We had to use the lift gate as a pickup. Yeah. And we're going to have to use the lift gate at the drop off. And that's the one that isn't paying us crap. No. And it's going to Nevada. It was, a, it was, a, the first one was a, it's a good paying load if you were up there. Right. Right. But with the <laughs> it, deadhead. It, it makes it like a dollar a mile. Right. And, so, and the, the second load, did you already tell them that's in the front of the box? Yeah. Six pounds. Yeah. Yeah. So, six and pounds. And it's going to Arizona. Yeah. And we've got another load lined up for over the weekend out of Arizona, out of which we'll Arizona. talk about that yeah. later because yeah. that in the next vlog. Yeah, probably. that'll be in the next vlog. So just but in case anything happens we, with that. But man. We got up early morning and we just started deadheading up there. She was on Eastern time. So, of course, over here it was like 4.35 in the morning when she sent it or mm -hmm. needed us to go. So we got going right away, started deadheading up there. We got up to Sacramento, it was like 2.30. Yeah. And then of course the place wasn't ready. Oh, gosh, I know. So that took an hour to get loaded. <laughs> and so we got that loaded and then the other pickup was another hour, well, it was about an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, With away. traffic and stuff, trying to get out of Sacramento. Yeah. We got that uh, Luckily, right at five o'clock. And luckily the guy we called because when we got, when we were knew we were gonna take longer at our first pickup, yeah. we called and got a hold of the guy and he actually waited for us, luckily. Luckily. 
and we were it, like, oh man, we're going to lose that load and the next load we have lined up. But yeah. no, everything worked out. It did work out. So. First double load. So it's already paying off. <laughs> How long have we been back well, out? It really helps because that first load wasn't paying us nothing. No, but uh, by helping her out, yeah, we got two more loads lined up. We got well, two more loads lined well, up. And we load. helped her out. You know, she yeah. was ecstatic about us helping out, you know, yeah. so... Um, she tried to get us a little bit extra on deadhead, but I don't think was able to, um, it, that load alone, it's only a dollar a mile and that's pretty much our operating costs, yeah. you know, fuel, insurance, maintenance, all that. Uh, it, and now this is based off of our old truck. Our old truck cost us, it was 90, 93 cents a mile to run. Yeah. I think so, in a, like one of the vlogs last week or week before, I had said our operating cost us at least 28 cents to run. That's fuel that's, alone, that's not all fuel. expenses. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, should have yeah. clarified that. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that's been going down since fuel's been getting cheaper too. Mm -hmm. I think we're down to like 25 cents a mile for fuel yeah. it costs us. But then yeah, everything else, yeah, insurance, truck payments, all those kind of things uh, adds up to about 93. Now, we don't know exactly yet with this truck. We still got to get some numbers rolling in and yeah. you know, how much are we spending in a month? So that will really give us the exact number. And that number always fluctuate, give or take about 10 cents a mile. Yeah. Yeah. total so yeah and that's just the operating costs that don't include paying us right so, so the first load's only paying a it was like a dollar a mile yeah, after deadhead we're gonna so. have to figure out the all miles for <coughs> all three of these runs and we'll have to because that's know. what matters yeah you, you know that's what matters yeah that's what we like at all miles and the 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 second one that we're delivering in Arizona is delivering basically to the same city the next one picks up for over the weekend. So it's basically no deadhead on that. No so, deadhead, yeah. yeah. But we got a couple of days of chilling. So, yeah. Because we deliver these today, hopefully. Because <laughs> our first one delivers in Vegas. Vegas. And we got to go 300 miles to for the next one down near Phoenix. So. Yeah, so we have no time to spare to get that offloaded. If, if for some reason we don't make it, I think they're open until five. So we should have plenty of time to get there before yeah. they close. We're going to have to get it. In worst case, we'd have to deliver it Thursday morning. Yeah, but yeah. we're going to shoot for both of them today, which, yeah, it's like two o'clock local time. We're in Barstow, by the way. <laughs> yeah, we stopped here to get some fuel before we head up to Vegas. Yeah. But, yeah. Hopefully we can get them both off to, done today, so we'll let you know <sighs> yeah. towards the end of this vlog. I'm excited though, our first double load. Yeah. So yeah. man, it's already starting to pay off. And when did we get back out from when we got the truck? How long have we been out? Even a month? Oh, About gosh, a month, I've maybe? Lost, I've lost track. Yeah, <laughs> I don't even think it's been a month that we've been out and this, we've already got our first double it, it's load. It's so. just taking the time to get the word out there. You know, that's what it is. And, yeah, that's and, getting it out to, cause, cause we, in the system, Landstar system, our truck specs are in there. Yeah. But they can't do put about the double box. They can't. So it's up to us to call everybody and let everybody know. And when we're talking to agents. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And a lot of it I'm just doing when they call us. You know, hey, I got a load. Oh, hey, uh, you know, want to let you know about my box. Um, yeah. You know, or oh, I'm already on a load, but. I got an extra section, what do you got? Is it going this way kind of thing? And then just that alone, even if it doesn't work out, it lets them know, hey, we got this split box. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I know a lot of people have been asking, why don't we make it movable? Oh, yeah, 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 about the why movable wall. The movable wall. <laughs> we can't. We Yeah, the type of freight that we haul, it has to be a permanent wall. Yeah. It can't be removable or movable. It has to be permanent. It's, a lot of you guys have some really cool, great ideas. Oh man, I wish we could yeah, do that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. cause yes, that would but make- it uh, just raises questions that, you know, having the wall permanently built in there, they inspect it, they look at it, they say, okay, that's acceptable. Now, if it's got hinges and locks and they had to lock it from one side and the other, it just defeats the purpose, yeah. you know? For instance, let's say we have a load in the front and then a load in the back and then we deliver the load in the back and if that wall was movable or able to open 
then you would have to seal that too. And it, it just raises a whole lot of, uh, you know, customers will be, oh, I don't know about that. And right. when and they it, see a permanent wall in there, they're like, oh, okay, that's, yeah. yeah, you guys got a real wall in there. Right. And a lot of it is for security purposes. It's yeah. Like secure they, shipments that we do, it has to be secure. And just, if it's movable, it's not secure, technically. They just don't want uh, there being access to the compartment that they're afraid is in. That's right. pretty much right. the gist of it. So. Yeah. But thank you to everybody. Yeah. Who's yeah. A lot this. of great. I, I, yeah, that, that a lot of great suggestions. Yeah, and, yeah, but we figured we would clarify that because yeah. I know a lot of people. Because it asking. would make sense to be able to yeah. open it up yeah. and then have the full twenty feet and close it up when we need to. But yeah, it has to be permanent. Yeah, so. yeah. But hey, like I said, got our first step. Got our blade. first one. <laughs> yep. Yep. So we'll see. Yeah. We'll see where it goes from here. Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm yeah. tired. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, I took over back in, I took over before we got to our first pickup. So it's, it's just been a long day for both of us. It's, yeah, <laughs> Jason no time to stop. It. Gosh, we barely had time to stop and let the pups I out. Know. They were, I I was like, I need to go. I, I need to go. Abby's, Pull over. Abby's back there eating because they yeah. hadn't gotten their dinner yet. And it's just man. been nonstop today. And that'll be tomorrow too. So we can get both of these delivered. But yeah gosh man i'm just i'm excited but i'm tired you're going to lay down yeah i'm uh we, we can't deliver till nine and it's four o'clock or it's two o'clock almost yeah two o'clock exactly local time two o'clock local is time also two so. o'clock in, in las vegas and, and we're, we're only 168 miles away yeah yeah so we're i'm gonna kill a little bit of time here and then we'll i'll probably stop at that at the top of that hill that get, goes down into Nevada, a break, I'll, check, break area. check area, I'll stop there and kill another two hours or something and then yep. deliver that and then get try to get to Phoenix. Oh yeah, yeah. That's gonna be a tough one. I know, Three, nah, cause, we, cause can say we, we can do it, we're the crappies. I know. <laughs> the crappies are on the job. We, we get there at nine, deliver by 10, that gives us six hours to get to Phoenix and it's 300 miles, so. I'm just hoping that we're going to go down a highway we've never been down before. Uh, it's US 93, I think it is. Yeah, from, it looks like a pretty straightforward shot, but yeah. we've never yeah, we've been never, down it. Never Hopefully we can run at least 70 miles an hour down that way. Yeah. If we can run 70, we'll make it. Yeah. If we can't, and it's a lot of stopping, going through towns and slowing down and speeding up, <sighs> we probably won't make it so. I, I looked at it briefly it doesn't look like there's a lot of times i mean i didn't zoom all the way in yeah, and look yeah, i mean yeah. it looks like it's pretty much no, middle of nowhere road so yeah. <laughs> hopefully it's no. just yeah good smooth shot and it's really all going to depend how long it takes at the drop off but i will say you may have already said this, but we have to use the lift gate for it because they don't have a dock. So we're going to be the ones pretty much offloading it off the truck. So we'll get it out. We'll get it. But yeah, we we'll still knock have it to out. wait for them to be ready for yeah, it, to they, sign for it yeah, and everything. Yeah, so yeah. we'll see. We'll keep you guys posted. So cool. All right. I'm That's going all I to got. bed. Catch up with you guys later. <laughs>
Barely awesome. made it. Well, no, the place that we deliver. So we made our delivery this morning in Las Vegas. Yeah. That went pretty quick and smooth. Then we had to drive, what was it? 300 miles to get to Chandler, Arizona, which is right outside Phoenix. 320. 320. We made it there at 315. We called our contact when we were at our delivery this morning to see how late they were open. Yeah, yeah. They're open till five, but they're like, oh, the docks close at 330. And we're like, we have a six pound box. We don't need the docks. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay, okay. Cause we were estimating getting here what around four o'clock. Yeah. But we made it at 315. Yeah, yeah. Got offloaded. Where and, are we at? And for those who uh, wonder what we haul, what, what's a six pound box? It was some computer parts, some rare computer part for some server that they just had to have, you yeah. know? Shipping it overnight was no guarantee. Putting it on us was, uh, was a more guarantee than shipping it overnight with FedEx or something, yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's the kind of stuff we do sometimes, you know? Um, we just rare, can't always talk about it, depending yeah, on yeah. what it is, so yeah. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> look, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Where are we at now? Uh, um, we are at a casino, but we don't gamble. No. We just came here because all there is is a Loves and a casino, and we don't want to go park at the Loves because all they got is, what, Subway? Yeah. Hey. Oh, hi. Photo bombing us? <laughs> I'm going to just put them up from letting them go potty out yeah, here. But yeah. um, I think it's called the Wild Horse Pass Casino is where we're at, but yeah. they've got truck and RV parking, which yeah. is awesome. They, we came here because the restaurants mainly and the better parking. Yeah. Yeah. We need I thought to get they groceries. had an RV. Oh, yeah, we do need to go get groceries. <laughs> There's a Whole Foods here in Chandler. So. I'll do that tomorrow. But they have nicer restaurants here, better parking. I thought there was RV dump, but they don't have that. So we'll probably have to go find somewhere to dump that tomorrow. I but think the Loves has one. I think so. We'll I'll double check it. Yeah. That, yeah. 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 Loud trip. There he goes. Yeah, he was trying to make it in there at that spot earlier, but he had to come back around to get to, repositioned. Right, right. But yeah, we are going to end this vlog here. Our next load doesn't pick up till Saturday, so you'll find out all about that in the next vlog. I think we're going to just go have us a bite to eat and chill the rest of the day. Yep. And we'll see what we get into the next two days before our next load picks up. Cool. All right. Thank you guys, as always, for watching and subscribing. And until our next video. Peace, love, and expediting.